Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben. I'm back today with a small collection of player that I've been collecting, that I've picked up out of the, the packs that I've opened for the last year or so, and it is catcher Mike Piazza. Uh, so Mike Piazza played about played 16 seasons in the, in the major leagues, um, was one of the best hitting catchers of all time, lifetime career batting average of 308, um, 2,100 hits, 427 home runs, 1,300 RBIs. Um, mostly played for the Dodgers and the, and the Mets with a couple short stints with the Marlins, Padres, and A's. But a 12-time All-Star, the Rookie of the Year in 1993, 10-time Silver Slugger Award winner, um, and is a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Now, what's kind of fun about him is that he was drafted as a favor to his father by Tommy Lasorda, like the last player to actually get, get signed from the draft. Um, and he turned out to be an amazing player, just like, you know, his he wrote a bio, an autobiography called... Um, uh, long, long shot, which I think is perfectly appropriate for Piazza and his approach to, uh, to the game. And, and just another example of working hard and, and, uh, and things working out for you. So here's the collection of cards I've got from him. Just a small collection. I've got five from the Diamond Mark series, 1993. This is his rookie season. He was rookie of the year in 1993. Um, then I've got his 1993 top stadium club. And you can see his, there's his top prospect card from, from that year. And then I've got a, a few of these uh, Donruss rated rookies from 1993. So a handful of those rookie cards for him. And then um, moving right along here, we've got his 1994 Fleer Ultra of him tackling somebody. Probably somebody in the Cubs, it looks like. Got his 1994 post rookie star. Post serial, 1994 Upper Deck Collector's Choice, 1994 Pinnacle, a couple of those, and those do have his designation as the National League Rookie of the Year down there. Here is a, a cool card. I love these kind of Upper Deck Collector's Choice holograms. Um, the all hologram cards I don't like as much because they're impossible to hold and you can't really see them, but yeah, you can kind of see that. But these uh, kind of hybrid ones are super cool. All right, on to 1995 score. Hitters, Inc. As well as Fleer Ultra. I think I have one of him because he is a drummer. And he's super into, like, heavy metal music. Um, he's the godfather to Zach Wilde's son, guitarist. Um, so he's super into that. I think I had, I thought I had one. Yeah, there it is. There's a drumming card of him from, uh, what is this, 1998 Fleer Ultra. And uh, that's the year that he moved over to the uh, the Mets. So you can see there, this is a late series card in the same set. And I've got this Season Crowns from Fleer Ultra. as well as this Pacific card from, uh, from 2000. And finally, a few more here. The Capture the Action Stadium Club card from 2000, as well as this uh, Stadium Club here, which is 2000 as well. So there you go. That's the Mike Piazza collection. Um, these are making their way off to uh, Robert in uh, California, who is a Mike Piazza fan. And he'll be getting all these cards here for his Mike Piazza collection. So enjoy them, Robert. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back with some more uh, of these nostalgic cards. See you next time.